Hey, what's up guys? We're here in Des Moines, Iowa, and this is for the NFBA 2020 Expo. Uh, it's basically really just about post frame, and that's my industry. So I'm gonna take you guys through, show you some of the coolest stuff that is here, and some of the best products to use on future buildings if you're looking into that, or if you're a contractor looking for the right product. I got my coffee, let's get into it. All right guys, first booth we're gonna, we're gonna start at, and these are all gonna be super quick, high level, overviews of the products that I love. This is the Plyco 92 series door. The reason we love it is because of this. This line right here indicates the thermally broken slab. That means that our interior exterior metal is not touching. And if I can get my fingers or you can just trust me, this jam here and the entire frame is thermally broken. So that is super important in a post frame building, especially if you're building them tight. Plyco 92 series, they're not cheap, but they're the best door we've ever used. What would a post frame be without some post frame nails? Now, Maze Nails is made locally to where I live in Peru, Illinois, and it's a six generation family owned American made nail company. They make the best nails. I love them. That's what we use on all of our buildings. They're not just normal gun nails. So when you guys are watching and you're seeing us either swing our hammer or use that big jumbo nailer, it's because we need to use post frame nails and Maze has got you covered. Love them. Okay, this is, this should be a lot easier than it is. I don't know how this works. Now, if you guys have watched this for any amount of time, you know perma columns and those brackets we use to secure our buildings are super important. This is uh, our sturdy wall brackets that you can dry set into concrete. And we've got our wet set brackets that you can wet set into concrete, which is what we do typically. But also, a lot of guys out there, maybe they're used to sticking their post in the ground, full concrete column, rebar all the way down. I think it's like 10,000 PSI strength concrete, so it's not going anywhere. I like, to, I like to set my brackets in concrete, but this is a great option as well. And one other thing, if you're doing sliding doors, they've now got their sliding door concrete column with the sliding door catch all built together, and it's adjustable, so once you set it, you can forget it. Hey, we're here at Just Tools. You guys have maybe seen this on the feed. This is a bell auger, and this isn't your typical auger. It's gonna be put in after you've dug your standard sized hole, and it's gonna bell out the bottom so you can get that extra large footing when you need it. But also, I wanted to show you guys Concrete Pier Systems. They've got this clip, and what this is allowing you to do is to make that one-piece purlin. So if you look up here, you've got this purlin, and you're gonna run it long, and you're gonna screw that clip on and then you can add another purlin which is going to allow you to have that perfectly straight purlin line it's going to definitely aid if you're going to be putting any sheeting on your roof but also if you want those crisp straight screw lines that's how you're going to achieve that with that one piece purlin so check it out we're here at i-beam door they sell sliding doors which you don't see a lot on our channel but I kind of want to use one of these. This is a Hydra Swing, but it's fully aluminum, which means it's super lightweight. Dude, this thing is pretty legit. The cost of a monster door is going to be way better than putting in a sectional insulated overhead door. And because of the thickness, you can really get a ton of R value in your, in your door. Not to mention, you can put windows anywhere. You can put walk doors. You can even put a porch. I-beam sliding doors, and now they've got this pretty epic Hydra swing door that's rated, I believe, at 115 mile per hour closed and 85 mile per hour wind rating when it's open. So these doors have a ball screw jack that has the lifetime of two operations a day for 35 years. So it's not gonna be much maintenance. And look at this, these things are super efficient. So 110 operation, you don't need any super high powered electrical service to operate these doors. So because these door motors operate independently and they talk to each other as the door closes, if your opening is askew and not perfectly square, plumb, true and all that, it's going to know that and it's going to correct that. You'll notice when these door seals close, these things are gonna close up nice and tight even though this jam here is not, is not as straight as the other jam. So you can see how this is cocked. That's on purpose for the demo to showcase that this is still gonna close tight. And as it opens, this side is gonna open first and catch up to this side and then they're gonna open up equally. Pretty cool. 
So I know you guys don't see us use sliding doors much on our channel, but if you're doing some large sliding doors, man, this thing is legit. This has like a 90 year life on this trolley. Check out all these ball bearings. It allows you to get a nice smooth operation even under high wind loads, the way this thing works. I've never seen a trolley like this and all these doors are made out of aluminum. So they're super lightweight and durable. I-beam sliding doors, man, they're pretty legit. They got a pretty killer locking mechanism. Like I said, you guys don't see me do sliding doors often, but uh, if I were to do a big sliding door, I would definitely, definitely be looking at these guys. So we're here at MWI. MWI makes all of our steel color match soffit. So you guys are always asking me about where we get our pre-cut soffit. It is through MWI, but what I wanna show you guys is the cupola. So this is the cupola that we try to use on all of our jobs. We got this sick light on the side, so these windows. And what I really love is that this base comes pre-made, pre-manufactured, it shows up on site. You put together the top and set it on. One thing I love about these cupolas is the way they're manufactured. Look at that wood framed wall on the inside. They're using a nice plywood box, which is not as common as most cupola manufacturers. Really durable, good looking and color match to fit your building needs. So MWI, they make killer pre-cut soffit and the best cupolas. You all know that I don't bury my posts in the ground, but here at the show, Post Protector has an option for you that like to still put your posts in the ground. You know, I say that wood is always gonna rot because that is a fact. Do something for your columns. They have a product here that at least is going to cover your post or column from getting that decay if you're worried about water or moisture getting inside of here there is weep holes that you punch out at the bottom make sure you put this on a footing or a nice gravel bed so that moisture can get out of there but hey this is a great option at least to protect your post if you're still putting it in the ground can't lose hey guys if you are putting up metal buildings or metal roofs on open web framing and you're not going to be insulating that building drip stop is a product that we've used in the past and if you check this out and get real close it's a kind of like a felty product that's applied to the back of the metal at your roll former. And this is gonna hold up to a quart of water condensation in the air per 10 square foot. So I don't know if you can really think about that. That is a ton of moisture. And instead of that moisture running down your roof and accumulating on your purlins, which is gonna cause problems down the road, this holds it until the dew point in that space can kind of balance out and the condensation goes away. So it's really nice if your customers don't want those drip spots all over their pretty tractors or their nice RVs. So if you guys are looking for the best column on the market, we have been buying Ohio Timberland columns. They're a laminated glue lamb column. Look at this finger joint. Every treated to non-treated connection is a structural finger joint that is glued, pressed in, but also I love the fact that they're completely glued. They are planed on all surfaces to accept that glue. Super rigid, best column. All right, we're here in the AJ booth and AJ Manufacturing, they make windows and doors, but I wanted to show you this window. Uh, this is a fully vinyl window, but what's great about it is check this out. All you have to do is install your steel, follow the directions to make the correct notches, and as an installer, the window is gonna go in lickety split, okay? Now, you wanna make sure you follow the right instructions because you do have some caulking patterns you have to follow to get this you know, correctly done, but when it is done properly, it will be a fully flashed window and it will be leak proof free. You're gonna fasten some fasteners in to make it solid and then snap a trim on and now you have a fully finished window, fully flashed, waterproof, and it looks really good. It comes in a couple stock colors, which is usually what we buy, but you can also get it custom painted to match any color. Oh yeah, it's not a frame building show without stopping at least and sharing who my metal supplier is, which is Metal Sales. You guys have probably seen it, I've talked about them. Great supplier, great service, great product. Can't go wrong with Metal Sales. We do all that. In all right, you guys have definitely seen us use Versetta Stone on our buildings. It's a gorgeous look. It's panelized. It doesn't require a foundation, which is why we like it, because a lot of times we don't have foundations for our, our post frames. And with the tongue and groove system, man, it goes in like a vinyl siding, a hardwood flooring. It looks natural. You can barely see that it's panelized once it's done. And it got, it's got a 50-year warranty, so it can match you know the other similar metal warranties that you're offering your customers, but with a great look of stone. I love it.
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. So all of these products, I wasn't paid to promote any of them. These are genuine products that I like, that I think that you guys would like if you're getting into any post frame projects in the future. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm gonna get out of here and we'll see you next year, hopefully in Nashville, Tennessee.